Hello, this is Andrew from TrendFollowingMentor.com. I want to welcome you to watch this short video, which one of the most important aspects of successful trading is knowing what to buy or what to sell. Um, before we continue, I'd like to invite you to get a free 40-page report on trend following. I think it will be very useful to you. It's absolutely free. As well as I invite you to pick up my book on trend following coming out with Wiley Books in the fall called The Bible of Trend Following, How Professional Traders Compound Money and Manage the Risks. As I start saying, one of the most important issues of trading is knowing what to buy or what to sell. What we do at TradingFollowingMentor.com is we rank them. We rank all the markets. It's not that complicated and complicated really doesn't hold up in the real world. So what I do is I look at a basket of stocks. If I'm trading the U.S. exchanges, I look at the IBD 50. It gives me the top ranked stocks. And then within those top ranked stocks, I want to look for the strongest within those. So I have this add-on from Metastock and I get a report. I click on it. I'm identifying the strongest stocks within the group of the IBD 50 or the US stock market. To give you an example of what I mean, here's one of the stocks, it was number two on it, called Melanex. This stock went from about the $60 range to now it's at 106. You want to buy the strongest stocks or you want to sell the weakest stocks if you can put on a low risk bet. A low risk bet means you look at your entry to your exit, you figure out the number of shares that you can put on and the dollar amount, and you want to make sure it doesn't supersede 1% of your account size, or let's say $1,000 if it's a $100,000 account. This is what the goal is, putting on a low risk bet. If it's too big of a bet, you don't want to take it because the majority of your trades aren't going to work. So the first step in successful trading is identifying the markets that you should be looking at. This is being tactical. It isn't like reading a newspaper or listening to Blumberg or listening to anybody. The numbers are what they are. You've identifying the strongest stocks. Then you're trying to figure out a low risk bet to, to be able to go with them and ride them like jumping on a railway car. This is what trend following is. And then we follow them with this trend following stop. I invite you to learn more. I would love to be your mentor to help you to grow. As well as I invite you to pick up my book coming out in the fall from Wiley Books called The Bible of Trend Following. Thank you very much.